Judith doesn't have a chief complaint. Her mouth is her chief complaint. There's almost not one single tooth in the right position. But that's her job, and we need to get it done. The severe maxillary constriction has caused the crossbite of three upper teeth in the first quadrant and of one premolar in the second quadrant. She wants to be treated with aligners, and you need to subscribe to this channel if you want to receive free orthodontics education that show how to solve cases like this one. Now, no matter what I do, it seems like I need a lot of interproximal reduction to get her teeth straight. We need to do it in the first quadrant so we can move the upper midline to the right, and in the third quadrant in order to move the lower midline to the left. Those midlines will hopefully meet somewhere on the way. And, as if that wasn't enough, we need some sequential distalization in the first quadrant, using elastics as dental anchorage. And by the way, seems like we're never gonna really solve that second class. Here, we got a first class, but still we need a lot of anchorage to ship the midline. So Judith, just get that third class elastic and don't complain. But um, can you feel it? Um, I mean, wait a second. When she has some freeway space between the jaws, she's more symmetric than the Da Vinci's Vitruvian Man. Also, we have the crossbite of the upper right lateral incisor, but not of the upper left one. We got three teeth crossbite on the right and just the ones on the left. And with all of that, the lower midline, maybe by chance, I don't know, is deviated right on the lateral incisor's crossbite side. I'll tell you what, it smells like mandibular shifting. Look at that. Where has all the IPR gone? It's gone because I just asked the technician to plan a lower midline correction through mandibular shifting to the left. Have you seen that? Wait. Oh. Whoop, there is again. Now, if you want to know more about Invisalign, there's a big news at the end of this video. Don't miss it out. Shifting the mandible to the left allows for a natural advancement of the fourth quadrant, so that we don't need that much distalization and interproximal reduction anymore. See that? Now, the elastics from the precision cuts will help the mandible to reposition forward on that side. And, as expected, all the lower IPR needed to shift the lower midline to the left has disappeared. We don't need it anymore. And again, elastics are there because they will help the left mandible shifting. As you can see, what has been planned is only a forward shifting of the right side which resulted in a midline correction of about 2 mm and some advancement of the lower right quadrant. If we had a class 3 on the left side, we would have planned for some backward shifting of the mandibles on the left side too. But as we had the first class there, there was no need to. And there is the big news! Go on purpleortho.com and use the code INVISA87 to get a stunning 87% off on our Invisalign mini course. Valid for just two days from now. Orthodontists, I'll see you next time.